welcome to the next session of ANSYS APDL. In this session, we are taking up another numerical on cantilever beam which is subjected to uniformly distributed load and some point load on it. We are trying to draw the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram which we have already obtained by using the numerical come graphical method. We'll first go to preferences, structural, OK. Preprocessor, element type, add, edit, delete, add, beam, to node, OK, close. Then I'll go to material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. I'll give the value of Young's modulus as 2E5 and Poisson's ratio as 0 0.3. Next, I'll go to sections beam common sections let me give the breadth as 30 and the height as 30 okay next i'll go to modeling create key points in active cs the first node is at 0 0 you can see the second node over here c it is at a distance of 4 meter from a so the second node is at 4000 mm. Next, I'll go for node 3, that is the point D. It is at a distance of 6 meter from the start, so that is 6000 mm. And the last node 4, it is at a distance of 10 meter from end A, so that will make it to 10,000. Okay, next, I'll go to lines. Straight line, I'll choose the two nodes and create the line, okay. Next, I'll go to meshing, size controls, manual size, global size. I'll give the number of element divisions as 10, okay. Then I'll go to mesh, lines, pick all. The meshing has been done. Then I'll go to plot controls, numbering. I'll switch the element numbers to on. Okay. The meshing part is done. Next, I'll go to loads. Define loads. Apply. Structural. Displacement. On key points. Now, when I look at this diagram, at end A, it is fixed. So, end A is what I'm choosing. And all degree of freedom, nothing written means it is zero. Okay. Next, I'll be applying forces, the point loads that are applied on the beam at C and D. They are of 4 kN each. So, I will choose C and D, okay. Along the y-axis, the value is 4 kN, so it is 4000 newton. okay. Next, I'll go to pressure on beam. I can see here between AC, there is a UDL of 2 kN per meter which will make it to 2 newton per mm so let's choose the first part of the beam okay load key to be changed to 2 because i'm applying along the y-axis and the pressure is uniform so i'm going to just write 2 over here okay now on the other end over here db there is also UDL of 2 kN per meter. So let me choose on beam. Okay. The same values. Okay. So this completes the loading. Next, I'll go to solution. Solve. Current LS. Okay. Close. Then I'll go to general post processing. I'll go to plot results, deform shape, deform plus undeformed. I want to see the result. This is how it looks like. Then I'll go to contour plot, nodal solution, degree of freedom, displacement vector sum. I want to see the deformed shape with the undeformed model. So now here I get the beam in white, which is initial beam. And after loading, I get this kind of a deflection in the beam. I can also see the stress value. I want to see the one minus stress. 
then i'll go to element table define table and by sequence number now here i am trying to add these commands such that i can plot my sfd and bmd so i've added all four of them then i'll go to plot results line element resolution suppose if i want to see the bmd so this is how it looks like we will check our solution it's absolutely the same way here i can see the maximum value is minus 120 kN meter and here the value in blue is minus 0.115 into 10 to 9 now since this is in newton mm if i convert it into kN meter i'll have to divide by 10 to 6 so that will make it to 115 so it's close you will never get the exact value that you have obtained by theoretical methods because ansys by itself is an approximate method so you will never get exactly the same value it is very rare but not impossible sometimes yes you will get the same value also so this is how you can get the other values also this is the green color which i see here so the value will be 64.1 for this place similarly i can get it for the other places and i can match the values with the ones obtained over here now after this i want to see the sfd so i will go to 6 and 19 okay so this is how the sfd should look like let's check okay it's a similar one here the value which i see here in blue is minus 23.6 because this is in newton i want the answer in kN here it is 24 so it's roughly same and here i can see this constant value is 12 so here this value i'll check it is 13.28 so it's again close you can use the same method for finding out the values at different places like the yellow one here is 8.13 and here it is 8 so you're getting some rough answers this is 16 here and here the value is 15.8 this blue color so that's how you're getting the values so i hope you have understood the process for solving of cantilever beam which is subjected to uniformly distributed load if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section see you in the next session thank you mm -hmm.